Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is fine on your side and uh, I hope you are safe during the conflict that is going on. So anyways, you know, today is part two of our gas station design and uh, look at how beautiful our parametric fence is. This is my last video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. Uh, for example, if you go to Massing Inside, if we select on this, we go to Edit in Place. So you know our, our fence is completely parametric, all right? Uh, do you guys remember these values, right? For example, the profile, let's change it to 350. The height, let's go for 3,000, um, not 32,000, 3,200. This is the, the bottom height right here, right? Which is from the flow to that part. So, um, 275, uh, if you press OK. So, check this out. Everything changed. So, it's completely parametric and it's a very interesting video, the previous one. So, I definitely recommend uh, you to check that out. Uh, you know, for today, we are going to be making a, a small piece of art um, inside this gas station, you know. Uh, for example, if you go to Google, you know, let me quickly change this to hidden light. And if you go to Google... <coughs> Oh, excuse me, and if you write a brick wall holder, so look at how uh, nice, you know, these different designs are. I mean, look at this one, look at how nice it is. In fact, uh, you know, I'm going to make this in my next video, I really like it. And uh, for today, look at this. So this is what I'm talking about. This is a, uh, you know, um, a wall holder, right? This is what the name of it is. And uh, for example, the onion uh, brick and brack, I think this is some sort of an agency or a company, but uh, you know, this is the overall design. So you can hang different things from it. You can, you know, the birds can make their nests. And I mean, you know, there are there are quite a few different uses of this, but uh, you know, we are going to be making this inside Revit today. So this is a pure example of a, a wall holder brick, right? And it looks quite nice. Uh, so let's quickly go to Revit. Let's go to File, New, and this is a an adaptive family uh, I mean it's a curtain family not an adaptive one so you are again going to learn so many new uh, different things and it's going to be interesting let's first of all go to millimeters because everything else is on so in millimeters and millimeters is usually easier oh my god I've, I've been saying so many things in less amount of time I'm talking so fast so you know the size uh, the size can be anything in my case I just wanted something suitable so 400 by 200 and um, so the first thing is two points, uh, one and uh, two. Okay, now reference and uh, triangle, I mean rectangle or triangle, oh my God. And uh, f let's click on that and uh, let's click on that. Okay, so this is the first one. Now the second one, let's click on that and let's click on that. Um, so the first one, let's go for create form. Okay, and uh, the height of this is gonna be 50. And uh, the second one right here, let's go to create form and the height of that is gonna be uh, what 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 have we made? <laughs> excuse me back and uh, okay select that and uh, select that also uh, yes now it is the right shape and uh, the height of that is going to be 100 okay and uh, now we kind of uh, need more points so um, reference and uh, no it can be normal points no we need so points set and we set it to right here so paste and uh, set again to write here so paste and uh, guys you know if you want to master of it make sure you always use these shortcuts so the offset of this is going to be i mean we have to um kind of take it somewhere else right so it can be 100 to um, bring it above and uh, the, this point is again going to be 100 mm okay so now both of them are off uh, setted offsetted and uh, if we click on that so if we go to our right view and uh, MV to move this from this point to this point. Okay, and uh, now if we um, if we click on that and if we go to our front view and if we scroll in, so CO to copy this point and 100 to copy it by 100 on the left side. So <laughs> check this out, it's done already. And now, um, um, what else? Okay, reference and line. And now we have to make that, that profile, okay, which is moving um, towards the outwards for example if you go back so we need this profile this is what we are going to be making and uh, for example if we click on that and if we uh, go it above um, how about um, 175 okay and check this out uh, you know the overall I mean this video is easy right it's, it's nothing hard now rectangle uh, reference rectangle set and set it to that okay so now we have set it that plane and uh, make your rectangle and uh, we know that uh, the size of this is going to be uh, 50 because uh, and uh, this one is going to be 100 100 mm by 50 mm 
so this is our profile and this is our line right and uh, now if we simply go to create form and check this out so you know our modeling is complete already look at how nice it looks so this is that wall and uh, if you closely look we are exactly on point isn't it uh, i think this is the closest picture of this and uh, so check this out so this and uh, we have already made it how about um how about this one we just bring it a bit outward and a bit um upward okay much better and um all right i think we have uh, kind of messed up with that part okay now if we select on that so um a bit outward and uh, zoom in and uh, a bit upwards all right now it is not messed up and uh, now um you know let's even fix this corner quickly so front and uh, come on so okay and uh, fix right um so this is it guys uh, our modeling is in a way complete already now let's click on that let's press tab and let's change the materials into a controllable parameter so this is gonna be the wall uh, design uh, wall um, H O L D uh, holder design uh, D E S I G N M E T E R I A L. So wall holder design material. Oh my God, why are my names so big? And uh, now if we again click on that and uh, let's change the material to that again. And if we tab, okay, to click that and uh, materials and wall holder design. Okay, now let's go back to our family types and this is the our parameter, right? So let's go and uh, you know instead of choosing something bricky, <laughs> is that the right word to use? Uh, I'm going, I think I'm going to choose uh, something wood, 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 wood. So there are so many, oh my god, look at how nice it looks. This is a mahogany wood, <laughs> I think that's how it's pronounced. So I double, um, okay, double click, okay, use rendered appearance. Come on, come on, why, why is it taking, um, uh, okay, user experience. Okay, and uh, okay. Now you know we kind of uh, we have to change this into a different um, curtain system, uh, curtain panel system based. And uh, so uh, the size of this is again uh, millimeters, and uh, this is going to change to half a brick. And uh, the size of this is going to be two hundred by two hundred. We go back to our original family. Let's load it in our new um, our new system. Uh, not gas station only family six our new uh, pattern system so now um create component and uh, family this is family five okay and uh, this is gonna be two this is gonna be three and that's gonna be four and if we go to realistic and if we go to modify so check this out look at how nice it looks and uh, okay so now load into the family into gas station and uh, so where do we make this design let's go to <laughs> <laughs> excuse me let's go to top and uh, let's make it right here for example this pole okay let's leave the pole why are disturbing the pole so massing inside in place mass mass two uh, line one and uh, two and seven thousand five hundred oh my god this is going to take so much time six thousand because the size of everyone um is uh, what is the size it's 200 mm right so seven thousand is going to take so long and uh, for the height um for example uh, 14 feet uh, 4200 okay 4200 and um, so now tab again uh, convert this into a pattern and uh, let's go for hard hot step half a step and uh, let's go for fixed distance and uh, the distance of everyone is 200 right because this is our size and uh, 200 apply okay that is done now this is the the system that we have to approach so this is family six uh, import this into the gas station we do not want family five but family six now click on that and uh, family six and now let's just wait a little bit and check this out guys it only took three seconds you know i thought it's going to take uh, a while but uh, look at how beautiful this is let me finish the mass so check this out guys it is complete and uh, look at how nice our model is so this is the you know the wall holder um, the one that we saw in google and uh, I mean look at this look at how beautiful this is and uh, look at the reference that we had so look at this <laughs> this reference and look at that so I hope you guys enjoyed the video I hope you learned something from this and this is of course it's not a structural element this is I think mostly used for decors or for non-structural purposes right for architectural purposes 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it and uh, make sure to stay tuned with us because I have so many more designs. I think I'm going to cover about five to six videos within our gas stations, right? So all of these different things, I'm going to cover them. So have a good day and bye-bye. Uh,